We just got some news, Broncos country, and it could be a potentially big homecoming for the team, both figuratively and literally. So according to this tweet from Brandon Cristal, per the NFL transaction wire, former Denver Broncos defensive lineman Shelby Harris visited the Broncos today. Despite playing in Seattle last year after he was traded there in the Russell Wilson deal, his family makes Denver their full-time home. If he does indeed resign there, he's already made up a mock-up of what Shelby would look like. Dude, Shelby Harris could potentially be coming back to the Denver Broncos. I've been talking about this move potentially coming for weeks now. The Denver Broncos are extremely thin on the defensive line. Right now, second-year man Matt Henningsen, as well as formerly retired defensive lineman Tyler Lancaster, are receiving rotational reps to be the starting defensive end alongside Zach Allen. If we brought back Shelby Harris, we wouldn't have to deal with that issue at all. I really like Matt Henningsen as depth, and Tyler Lancaster is kind of an unknown commodity because he spent last year retired, so Shelby Harris, man, would be a massive addition. He was still extremely productive last year for the Seattle Seahawks. I would be absolutely stoked just to bring Shelby back and reunite him with Vance Joseph. He's familiar with this defensive scheme. He first broke out in this defensive defensive scheme with the Broncos. In fact, if we come over here and look at Shelby Harris's stats, he had five and a half sacks in his first season under Vance Joseph, a total of nine QB hits as well. 2018 second year under VJ, a little bit lower in the sack department, but also had seven QB hits. And he, remember, he was rotating in with guys such as Derek Wolf as well. So Jelby Harris, man, already has experience in this defense, and then his best two seasons in Denver were in 2019 and in 2021 under Vic Fangio, where he had six sacks, six sacks and 49 combined tackles in each of those two seasons. And last year in Seattle, he still had six quarterback hits, two sacks, 44 combined hits, and was very productive in terms of pressure as well, and can still play the run. And let's not forget, Shelby Harris is one of the most clutch players in the NFL. He has single-handedly saved multiple games for the Denver Broncos. I can think of three right off the bat. His very first game as a Bronco, he blocked a potentially game-winning field goal from Young Way Koo and the Chargers. In the 2018 season, he intercepted a pass in the end zone from Ben Roethlisberger, which would have been a go-ahead touchdown for the Steelers with no time left in the game. And then in 2019, he batted down a pass from Derek Carr to Darren Waller that would have won the Raiders the game in their season finale, the very last game as the Oakland Raiders. In fact, that was the very last time that we beat the Raiders was because of Shelby Harris. So I, I want to bring Shelby back for so many reasons. He makes sense for a big role on this defense. He would come in and start right away alongside Zach Allen. He would give guys like Matt Henningsen another mentor to learn from. Matt Henningsen's a guy who will be our primary rotational defensive lineman or defensive end, especially once or if we do sign Shelby Harris. So I'd be very comfortable with Matt Henningsen in a rotational role, not necessarily in a starting role. And that's why I'm so endorsive of bringing back Shelby Harris. And the fact that the Denver Broncos have made the first big step in making that happen is huge. And since Shelby came in, it's clear that he is interested in returning. There isn't any bad history there with George Payton after he was traded to Seattle. You remember following the Broncos was losing to the Seahawks, Shelby Harris got on an interview and said, maybe that's why you shouldn't have traded away your defensive linemen. So there was some that were maybe fearful, myself included, that he was a little bit salty with the Broncos. But it seems that all of that is in the past. It's all water under the bridge. And Shelby getting the opportunity to reunite with Vance Joseph, his former head coach, and getting to play under Sean Payton might be too good of an opportunity for him to pass up. I know that Seattle is also potentially interested in bringing Shelby back, but since we're already in a training camp, if Seattle were going to do it, I feel like they would have already done so. So Shelby coming, back, Shelby coming back to Denver might be the best potential option for both himself and the team as well. 
All right, Broncos country, I'm curious. How do you guys feel about the Denver Broncos bringing in Shelby Harris for a workout? Drop those comments down below, guys. I would love to hear your thoughts on this, as always. Be sure to leave a like on this video, as well as subscribe and ring the bell so these videos appear in your notification feed. I would really appreciate it, guys. Those are two free and easy ways to show your support. It helps tell YouTube's algorithm to push us out and helps us get seen by more and more members of Broncos country, just like you and me. And until next time, guys, this has been another episode of Denver Broncos Syndicate. I am your host, Gage Madrid, saying peace out.